Hi, I'm Sane Ing, and this is my sketchbook tour number four. Uh, this, would, this was meant to be my main sketchbook, but, but it didn't be my main sketchbook. So this is quite well. It took me long time to fill this up. I uh, keep this sketchbook with me when I was in school. Uh, I started this in some point 2015 and uh, completed it like late August in 2016. And here's also again my information. Uh, and by the way, this is Moleskine like Tate standard notebook, not the sketchbook version. I really like it, this, even this has thin paper, but I didn't like the sketchbook. And I also was uh, practicing Inktober, but then I failed about it. Uh, those are some hits. I really didn't want to draw faces, so I draw just back of people. Ink piece. More ink pieces. As you can see, the sketchbook has quite interesting thing going on. That it really takes turn. Really different in some points. More ink drawings. Then I started to do these uh, doodles, and these are like new brain things to draw. Some clock and some mechanical parts. More of those creepy doodles. There's more doodles. I think yes, I used micron pen with these. More doodles. Then some more. I think this is last of this kind of drawing. And then I got to draw monsters. And I really like to draw like these ghosts. There's rabbit in the path. And here's Bunny. It was my uh, little sister stuff at Bunny that I drew here. Then I did some bunny doodle. Some doodle that I didn't start then. Some doodle that is like not filled up completely. More monsters. This is like floating in emptiness. More monsters. I really like to love. I really like to draw spiky things, and every time I draw a monster, I often do a really spiky monster. No comment on that. And also, I like to draw uh, these hooded things because I can't, can't draw a human anatomy, anatomy. Skeleton. My shoe. <laughs> on, uh, half on a post it note. Uh, some doodle. Some monster. Maybe some monster or character. Some random doodles. Spider. More monsters. This has interesting legs. It reminds me of octopus. Medus. This is definitely vampire. That um, that looks like. The uh, ghost does have a teapot on his head. <laughs> don't know where these ideas come from. Some scribbles that I made and then tried to draw a monster out of them. Yeah, I try to keep it much of in the frame. Here are some hanging flying monster. Puking monster. <laughs> No, these are really random things. Where is Bunny? It isn't scary. Even. There is like a character and all the props for him, like. Mm, I think a candle and some weapons. More props. I was doing some small game, game project at this point. Some swamps. I really like how this swamp, swamp, not swamp. Oh, there, mushrooms. I really like how this mushroom, mushroom turned about. More little props here. Uh, here is a thing you use to repel birds. There's some info that is not meant for the prop for this little gnome guy. Some well, snaky 
warm thing and here is like way his move or way his is can be posted. Some kind of thief tree horror tree. So some kind of water creature and some kind of I don't know what is this. And of course there is some Medus and she shows some those kind of things. I was planning one monster that really got me hard time to do. I felt like I got like not to get it right. More props. Here's also more props. Uh, monster. This is actually not for game. This was for one of my novels. Good. More Medusas. Here I was uh, planning out that rock monster that got me hard time before. More monsters. This is really typical what I do. And at this point I noticed that this fountain pen is faded now because it should be black. I think it's just fading in my sketchbook. Some hand. There are multiple things to scarecrow. Uh, this was I'm really into game world and thinking that I will become I want to become a concept artist. More students. This tags my original character that I've I bet you have seen in many sketchbooks. Some character. Some planning for legs. Some really random things. I usually do this random spread when I like I'm out of ideas and I want to do even something. There is more some random things. There's like a puking monster and some really horrible monster. And then there is one scene. Monster that looks really weird. More those characters. I think this should be monster. Here are some props. More monsters. I tried to draw horse, but I failed at it. There I had this idea about the uh, rock the monsters coming from wall and like grabbing from the wall. Because there is one like saying in Finnish that uh, walls fall over. Which means like being really like in tight spot or anxious. No feeling anxious. So more monsters. <laughs> when I'm like going through the sketchbook, I really want to draw more monsters. Here's I in the swamp. Ninja that has huge spikes. The spiky thing. Reminds me of Pokemon. A spiky silhouette. It's more Medusas and here are my here. That is one of my redrawing series from my redrawing series. Some really weird thing. Oh, here I wetted the page because I wanted to try out this my Sailor Kimakura ink waterproof and actually it isn't. It isn't completely waterproof, I should say. Some really weird six legged thing that has like weird eyes and nose. Some actually quite good monster. As you can see, I really love drop spikes and those manes and those kind of things. This looks only weird. Not scary at all. More like scenery. Some kind of Grim the Reaper. More monsters. <laughs> this looks hilarious. Uh, there's little props. There's, I think I practice cross hatching. Here's what you see in where it's tiny. I just sent a sketchbook here. How I 
I've tried all my different pens that I use in here. And this gets to have quite a bad bleed through, but it's still nice because this paper could take well all those pencils. And here at the back are Lego stickers because this was Lego team team sketchbook, so it had like little Lego things. And that was my sketchbook tour. Hope you enjoyed this sketchbook number four, and see you in my next tour. Bye.